Um, I thought um, that it was a very good music video, and um, uh, I thought it looked quite convincing as a an actual um, an actual music video. There were certain elements I would uh, say weren't as as realistic as they could have been. For instance, I thought there were too many just still shots. For instance, just on a, a tripod. You, I don't know. You could maybe have um, done more cuts to the different uh, uh, musicians and everything. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was a good um, choice of actors because they looked the part and they uh, were the right age for it. I think. And um, for the a uh, age range, I would say around 17 to 23 around there, or even higher or lower. Um, and I would say predominantly male, but there are, I can see how that would appeal to a female, to some female. Audience. In what way can you see that? Um, just because, well, firstly, all the actors are male, and um, uh, usually heavy metal is associated stereotypically with uh, male uh, with men and not so much uh, females. So um, do you think it could appeal to females? So it could. It could. Yeah, but there, I know there are. There are. It could appeal to females because just uh, no, there's some females like that music and that's just the style they like. Okay. And also, um, yeah, that's what I, I took. And then for the plot, I understood that he was breaking up with his girlfriend or had a fight with his his, his girlfriend um, and then they it was their sort of story of them uh, their relationship and what happened in their relationship okay thank you um i really enjoyed the video i think it was really good it looks quite legit the only those some parts of when the the guy didn't look like he was mouthing the actual words. Mm -hmm. It was quite shaky. Um, I think the age range is from 15 to 18 because the um, the people in the video look that age. Um, what I understand from the plot is that he had a fight with his girlfriend. Okay, that's it. Good. That's also a good start. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you think the narrative is confusing then? If that's all you understood, it must uh, be a bit confusing. Not really. What? Uh, how it looks like he's having a fight with his girlfriend. Okay. Is, is that confusing? No, that that's actually the way we want it to look. Oh, no, but I, was, you asking me if I, I was asking you if it's anywhere confusing for no, you to no, understand no. what it's about. No. Okay. Well, I think it was overall a good video. And uh, it did look quite real, except for there were some missing parts where there was just text about what you would do. And if you added that, it would look uh, it would look as if it was made by someone who actually made this on a daily basis or as a job. And I think the audience, the target audience, is teen to young adult, and it would appeal more to a male audience because it was metal music, which tends to uh, be associated with males. And I didn't exactly think there was a certain theme in it, but I did understand that it was about a breakup. Okay, thank you very much. Um, overall, I thought it was like a really good video. It had a good mix of different kinds of shots. There was some stills and some where the camera was um, moving. And I thought it was really good the way you took the instrument. It's somewhere more interesting. It was really typical of a real music video. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the likely target audience would be more in the teens range because the song itself is a fairly emo, angsty song and it makes sense it was because it was chosen by teenagers that it would be more aimed at them but the music video came out looking really mature actually mm -hmm. so it could also appeal to a higher audience going up to the 20s. For the rest of you remember like Taylor Lace, you can be continuing to the right notes because you remember writing all the tracks um, you said it looked uh, quite real for you. Also, most uh, of the band members who were in that band, they didn't play the music instruments. Do you think it looked like they actually played them? Or? It looked like they were actually playing them, okay. definitely. Um, one thing I thought in one of the flashbacks where it looked like he was fighting with his girlfriend, mm -hmm. there was a colour filter on it yeah. that 
made it look maybe just a little bit unrealistic, okay. perhaps, and less professional. But overall, it worked really well. And the main plot, I thought it was someone fighting with his girlfriend and getting really angsty over it and okay. running through the woods and doing all that. But it worked really well. Thank you. Um, I thought it was a pretty good video. Um, I feel like the age range would be about 16 to 23, mm -hmm. um, because, you know, heavy metal is usually, or metal is, um, usually for a younger audience, and usually it's, um, associated with a male audience. Uh, I feel like the plot was about a fight between, um, someone and a boy and a girl, and, um, they were sort of breaking up, and, uh, he was d depressed over it, I feel, and... Um, yeah, I, I feel like it looked like a real music video because of all the, sh I feel like the shots of the guitar and drums were uh, good because it sort of gave that music video vibe and um, yeah, it looked like they were playing the instruments. Okay. So, yeah. uh, what did you, for example, think of the color powder on the drums and the other color powder we used? Um, I felt like that was an interesting touch. I liked when um, the drummer uh, had it and it was sort of coming off. It mm -hmm. made a nice effect to it. Do you think it should have been slower, or is it good um, enough paced? I feel like it would be fine slower, but I found I found the paste or it or the yeah paste. Or paste, sorry, yeah paste. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for me, I could I thought that the audience was mainly a male audience, of about older teenager, teenage to young adult, around fifteen to twenty five. Um, and I could, I, I could tell that the story was there was some conflict, but that's really all I could tell. And the, also it looks a lot at at, at its current state. It looks a lot like it was a student video, but the main reason to that is because a lot of effects haven't been added yet, mm -hmm. and probably once they've been added, it it will look more like. Uh, genuine music video.